This video is an example of researching, installing an application from Salesforce's App Exchange. So what we're going to do is, is go out to the App Exchange, and specifically, I'm interested in finding an application that supports the integration between Eventbrite and Salesforce. And so what I did was to do a search on Eventbrite, found there were two options, uh, Mercado and also Paragite have systems. Uh, both are free, which gets interesting. A little bit of, of uh, one, one review, 11 reviews, you know, it's worth kind of figuring it out as opposed to Zap, which has 132. So that gives you a sense of how that plays. So taking a look out at, uh, at, at, at Google just to see what a, a search would do here, uh, did Eventbrite Salesforce sync? And what I found was Eventbrite.com actually has a, a spectrum program. And so clicking on that, what it does is to take us to uh, this Eventbrite uh, site, which talks about a Salesforce sync here. Um, but if we click on CRM, just to give you a sense of how other app exchanges would work, this is showing uh, other programs that would connect. So here's a Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, we see the Workado here that also does Salesforce, but other things as well. Um, the Eventbrite sync is by Eventbrite. None of these are, are by Eventbrite, which is especially interesting. So if we go back to uh, the Google search, what we also saw was that there was, uh, actually there was a, another piece here I thought that was interesting was, here when you, um, if you click install in, san in Sandbox, what that does is to bring up this page, which is actually a, a, a Lightning Salesforce page, but it's ver installing version 2.112, 1.2. So uh, when I when I looked out here and found there was there was actually though a, a, a Salesforce app exchange for Eventbrite. What does that mean? Well, it turns out that within the app exchange there is an Eventbrite sync. Uh, that's the official app, but it's a private listing, which means they haven't actually gone through some of the security work with it. And I think a lot of that is based on the fact that they have their own app exchange and, and are comfortable with that. Uh, when we were back here, by clicking on Get Started, what's interesting is that it actually drives us to uh, this page. Um, so it is, it is kind of linked that way. Um, the other piece to look at is when we click in details, what we find is, is that this is version 2.3.18, uh, where if you remember here, it was 2.1.2. So the good news there is that this is the current version. So we're going to click uh, Get It Now. It's going to say you need to uh, log into the App Exchange. In which case, we're going to say, yes, we'd like to do that. Um, the next step, then, is that you'll be asked to uh, connect into um, your sandbox. So in an earlier video, we talked about building a sandbox. Definitely worth having a sandbox, because this is a place where you can actually test things in a way that works. This is telling us, again, 2.3.18. Um, it does provide the note here that says that, uh, there's been a limited security review. You can click and read more about it. Um, again, depending on how much you know about an application or who's recommending it, it may be worth doing. So I'm going to confirm and install. So what that's going to do is it's going to say I'm putting it in my sandbox. I'm going to stick it out here in my uh, Eventbrite um, sandbox. And so what it's going to do is to load. I'm going to say here I've got a choice of just admins, all users, or specific profiles. For now, I'm going to say all users because it's in my sandbox. Um, and again, just checking, I'm at 2.3.18, so I can let that go. I want to uh, approve. Um, yes, I'm going to grant access because what they have to do is to connect. Um, in both Eventbrite and their API. So I'm going to accept that. Um, 
And what it's doing now is installing and granting access. So I'm going to pause it here until that finishes. So Salesforce came back with the fact that it needs to uh, have a little more time and it will get back to us with an email. So we'll watch for the email. So looking at my email, I have a, a message that says that um, it was successful. Here's what they've done. And then uh, if I look at my installed packages, what I'm finding is I do have an Eventbrite showing up here with the right version number. And I can now go to configure. Let's do that in the next video.